Hey guys, Leo Martins here today, and I'm going to be making my Euro 2016 predictions. Now, after Euro 2016, just a few days away, three or uh, four days away on the 10th. Um, okay, correction on that, it's on the 12th. <laughs> I can't think. Um, with the Euros about a week away, I decided, you know, I'm just going to make my predictions right now. And I'm on eurosport.co.uk. Just type in Euro 2016 predictions on Google, and that's how I got there. So uh, let's just get into it. Group A, we've got France, Romania, Albania, and Switzerland. France, I'm pretty sure they're going to finish first in this group. That's just an easy one. Second place, I think Romania is going to pull off, pull it off and get second over Switzerland. I know that Switzerland has an awesome team, but I think Romania might pull off an upset. Group B. England, Russia, Wales, and Slovakia, is it? Yeah. Oh, I think it's going to be Wales coming in in first, England in second, and then I'll be doing the best third place teams last. So, just to let you know. England always chokes in the big tournaments for some reason. I don't know why, but eh, I think this year they're going to be getting second. Group C, we got Germany, Ukraine, Poland, and Northern Ireland. Yeah, I think it's going to be Germany coming in first and uh, Poland second. Group D, Spain, Czech Republic, Turkey, and Croatia. I think first is actually going to be Croatia. Second is Spain. Then on to Group E, we have Belgium. Oh, let me actually do my reasoning for Group D. Croatia, if you look at their team, it is really stacked right now. Modric and Rakitic in the midfield. Subasic, a good goalkeeper for Monaco. Mandzukic, striker for Juventus. Very talented. They have uh, they, they have a young Cam Halilovic. Their midfield is stacked. All right, I don't know too much about their defense, but that midfield is just stacked. In Spain, uh, last World Cup, they weren't so good. People are saying they're going to be better this year. I don't necessarily believe that. Group E, Belgium, Italy, Ireland, and Sweden. Here, I actually think it's going to be Italy first, and then Belgium in second. And then Group F, Portugal, Iceland, Austria, and Hungary. I think it's going to be Portugal first. And I'm going to call this, I think it's going to be Iceland second. They have a lot of young talent because they've been building a lot of uh, new, I guess, soccer complexes around Iceland lately, as I've been hearing in the news. And I've been uh, watching some highlights from them. and. I mean, they're pretty good, so I think they may get second. And now the four best third place teams, basically the ones who end up with the most points in their group. I think one's going to be Ukraine. Uh, the other one's going to be Turkey. Then the other one's going to be Austria. And lastly, I say Switzerland. So now the knockout rounds. We've got Romania versus Poland. I think here Poland's going to pull it off. Lewandowski, one of the greatest strikers right now. Then here we've got Croatia and Austria. Croatia. Alba isn't all the, isn't all the team needs. Then Wales and Turkey. Tell you what, I think Wales is going to take this one. Then we've got Portugal and Belgium. Now, I think, honestly, Portugal can pull this off. Belgium's also got a great team as well with Lukaku and Hazard, even though he's been out of form. But the thing is about Belgium, their defense, company especially, like, he's always getting injured. If you watch him play for Man City, he's always injured for some reason. And then Hazard's just been out of form, and he's basically one of their best players. Tell you what, I'm saying Portugal's going to take this. You're all going to call me biased. I don't care. All right. Germany and Switzerland. Germany. Italy and Spain. Rematch of the Euro 2012 final. I think it was. Yeah where Spain won 4-0. Here, I say Italy's going to take this one. They've got, a, they've got a good team going this year. And France and Ukraine. France, England and Norway. Norway, Iceland. <laughs> Sorry. England's going to take that. Now, the next matchup, Poland and Croatia. Mm, Croatia. Stack midfield again. Wales and Portugal. It's basically Bale versus Ronaldo. So... It's going to be Ronaldo. I mean, who was the Champions League top scorer this year? <laughs> Germany v. Italy. 
that could be a big one I'm gonna call Germany then France and England France now here Croatia and Portugal that's this one I think it's gonna be very close if it does happen but I think Portugal can pull it off and then Germany and France say it's gonna be France and Portugal and France in the finals now here um, before I make my pick, let me tell you why I'm making it. France, great goalkeeper, great defense, great midfield, great strikers, great everything, really, and they're in their host country. Like, they're just set up to win, pretty much. With Pogba, Varane, oh, Benzema's not playing, but if he was, even. They've got so many great players. I'm surprised they didn't even pick Ben Arthur for the team, and he's such a great player. Portugal, Gavaraldo, Moutinho, Pepe, still a good player. Anthony Lopes, good young goalkeeper for Leonides. We I don't know if we'll be starting him. And I think, really, we have Renato Sanchez, the young talent. I think he could do a couple things for us. But I do think France is going to take this in the end. And my score for that is going to be 2-1 France. Goals by Pogba. And let's put a bit of a weird one out there. I'm going to call... Kashel need to score one. And then for Portugal, it's going to be Cristiano. Confirm my picks. And yeah, that's pretty much it. You know, go to this website. I will link it down below in the description and uh, show me your predictions. All right. That'll be the end of the video for today. And this is Leo Martins signing off. Peace.